Thank you, Kaylee. I'm here with Dr. Scott Ackerman. He is part of First Coast Oncology, and he's here to award a, a student here at FBHS with an um, award for an essay contest. And can you tell us a little bit about your organization? Sure, Katie. Uh, my name is Scott Ackerman, and I'm a physician or a radiation oncologist, and we have a practice uh, treating patients with cancer uh, with radiation. And we're right here at the uh, Baptist Medical Center here in Nassau, just a few blocks away. Okay, great. And I was curious, is this um, essay contest just open to 9th through 12th graders, or is it to anybody? So we started this essay contest to um, encourage students and specifically high school students, that's who it's open to, <clears throat> to do good deeds and to really to recognize high school students that have done good deeds um, and to uh, uh, reward them for the good deeds that they did. Excellent. And I guess we should get on to the main event, which is awarding somebody with one of the big prizes this year was a laptop. So here she is. Right. Yes, thank you. Let me introduce uh, Katie Lawson. Katie, come on, come on over here. Uh, Katie wrote a great essay <clears throat> about uh, her participation this past October in the Special Needs uh, Camp Marie. The Special Needs Camp Marie was a program that was organized by the Boy Scouts of America. And it was, had fun games and crafts and activities. And it was specifically working with disabled uh, people. And Katie has uh, spent a lot of time doing that. And she wrote a phenomenal essay that won our essay contest. And we're giving Katie today, you can help it out, Katie. What do you got? Wow. <laughs> Will that work? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think your grades will improve with that? Hopefully. They probably don't need to improve because you wrote a great essay, you're a great, you're a great command in the English language. I'm sure that in English uh, you're getting an A, uh, so maybe this will help you in the other subject. Thank you. Well, let me just tell you, can I have a second? Uh, Katie wrote her essay that her time spent at the Cambry, that by being there and watching the special needs people made me think of how fortunate I am to have what I have. It really made me appreciate the small things in life and even life itself. I can't wait to go back and help out next year. The happiness I see on the faces is the only payment I'll ever need. Katie, you really are a wonderful young woman. You're going to go a long way in life. We hope this uh, laptop helps you get there. Thank you. Thank you.